YouTube back with another video and today I uh, got something special in the mail I know I'm kind of late to the game with it but I'm going to go ahead and do the review and give my honest opinion on it um, right now we're actually getting hit with a hurricane here in Florida and so I got time to actually make some videos and so uh, for the next few days I'm gonna be making a good number of videos and I just wanted to basically let you know they're going to be all Star Wars related so letting you know that up front uh, so this particular item that I want to go ahead and start the review where well, you pretty much already know it because of the title uh, but the reason why I'm a little late to getting it was because of a hiccup that I had with GameStop out of all things um, long story with that but to make it, oops, to make it short I basically um, pre-ordered this particular helmet back when you first could pre-order it which I believe was back in I don't know I think it was like early summer and um, I had gotten a gift card from GameStop and this gift card had a lot of money on it uh, from things that I traded in uh, at the time consoles games accessories and so when I pre-ordered it uh, it took the money directly off of my gift card. But what I didn't know, what I didn't understand what, what um, GameStop does is that was just a temporary uh, amount of money that they took off. It wasn't long term. So when they took the money out, it was for a hold. And for however, however long they held it, they actually put the money back on the card at some point. And I ended up spending it not realizing that the money had been given back to me because I just wasn't keeping up with all the money that was on the card. And uh, when it came time to ship this item, uh, I got an email saying that the payment had not been made. Of course, I had to raise hell with GameStop and kind of find out they put the money back on the card for some reason, which to me is the strangest thing. Why would you take the money off? for a hold and then just put it back on there at a later point in time and it wasn't like it, they did it the next day it was like almost a month later or so anyway so I had to end up buying this off of Amazon once it released because I definitely wanted to get my hands on one in case it sold out and this is without further ado ah, this is the brand new Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader helmet and uh, of course it's made by Hasbro and I have the original one uh, I did a review on that one back in the day I have a video for that but I had to get the new one as well and the reason why I ended up getting this new one is because uh, Darth Vader is my favorite Star Wars character of course you know we all have a love for all of these characters um, but but Darth Vader Anakin he, he's he's my uh, favorite character throughout the throughout the series and so he's one that um, you know I, I love pretty much anything Darth Vader you know what I mean he's he's just that character and so uh, I had to get the new helmet because there are some differences in between this one and the old one and so uh, I definitely wanted to check this one out now this is an unboxing this is brand new I've had this for about probably uh, I think I've held this helmet now for about a month and I still have not opened it yet and just haven't had time to do the review. So this is all going to be brand new to me. I'm giving you my initial reaction. Then I'm going to do a comparison from the new to the old helmet. And uh, just, just really check this thing out. Um, this one I'm probably not going to be wearing. I wear my older one with costumes and for events that I do at my schools. So that one is actually going to be used. This one will be more of a display, I believe. I seriously doubt if I if I wear this one out, but um, but I'm excited to check it out. So let me get the razor blade and go ahead and open this bad boy up. 
And yeah, I've been waiting to, to do this, but I didn't, you know, most of the times I, I can't wait and I go ahead and open things up. But I said, you know what? Let me actually do a unboxing for the first time for a review. So this is actually new to my eyes uh, as I go through this. So let's see what we have here. Of course, it's going to be a bunch of paperwork and extra boxes. Star Wars The Black Series, Darth Vader. Okay, this is kind of the instructions telling what you need to do, how to put it on and such. This is your instruction manual. Nothing else in here. Okay, hold up. Gotta see how I'm gonna do this. So I'm actually holding the camera with one hand. Uh, of course, the top comes off. So they have the top of the helmet detached from the other part. What's this? It seems like it's stuck in here somehow. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's kind of sitting on a on a uh, little podium thing they have in here. Is there anything in this box? Guess that's just packaging. Okay, so that's that. I'm excited to see it in person. Okay, all right. All right. Man, they have this one definitely sealed pretty good. This thing is like, I'm not sure it's protected. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so off the bat, oh yeah, this this thing is dope, man. First things first, um, I love the color on this thing, man. I don't, I don't know how this is going to show up on camera. But that like uh, charcoal gray, uh, it, it looks really, really good on this mask, man. And then with the red eyes, it looks even it looks even better. The red the red tint on the eyes. Well, this thing looks really, really good. Um, I mean, okay, that's the stand. Don't really need the stand right now. Let me check out the. Actually, part of the mask. <clears throat> so I need to move some of the boxes and stuff out the way. Is this, I don't know if this is black or if this is that dark charcoal gray as well. I'm assuming it's the charcoal gray as well. And actually, no, this actually is black. This definitely is. It's black and there we go. Huh. So this is it. Wow. Um first impressions. This is a this is a uh this is definitely a more menacing dark Vader helmet. This this thing looks like <laughs> This thing looks like Darth means business on this one. Yeah. The quality is really, really good on this thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm kind of lost for words, but this is my first initial reaction to this. This, um, the quality in this is really, really good, but I love the color. I really do like this. I really do like this, um, this kind of black on gray. It's 
very, it's, I don't know, am I tripping? Like, I don't know if this is the lighting, but it's some areas that look like there's black and then there's other areas where it's gray. Um, but it's, it's, it just looks really, really good. Sorry, I just had to check it out for myself. So when you do these unboxings with me, this is my these are my initial reactions. So I'm definitely checking this thing out. Uh, definitely got to put it on because I want to see how the eyes look. And it looks like it's the same type of setup with the old one. I'm gonna snap these back pieces. Um, oh yeah. All right. Ah, I gotta put the batteries in. You know what? Let me do that first. Yeah, let me do the uh, the batteries first. in a lot faster than the old one was. Really, really cool, man. Really, really cool. Man, it gets hot in this thing. Um, so, Hold on. I don't know how to talk to this thing. Whew. Man, I forgot how hot that helmet actually gets. So it's a funny story. Um, I actually wear the original Hasbro Darth Vader helmet when I dress up as Darth Vader and, and do certain events at my schools. And there's one particular time I have worn it all day long. Uh, I hit like two schools that day. Uh, the second the second school that I hit, I, I walked in and it was really really cool experience. They actually played the uh, Imperial March and said we had a special guest. All the middle school kids were eating in the cafeteria, and I just walk in as Darth Vader with the actual old helmet, and um, you know the kids just went crazy, it went nuts in the cafeteria, and everybody was taking selfies. I mean, because it was just a random school day and Darth Vader walks into your cafeteria. Like, you know, it was really, really cool. So, um, but I'm going to tell you, that day I almost passed out wearing this helmet because it got so hot in that cafeteria with this helmet on. I literally had to go outside and take it off and just catch my breath. I thought I was going to pass out. These things really aren't made for stuff like that, but they're just so realistic with a costume that it just makes the, the costume, it sets the costume off. If you wear this thing uh, with the Darth Vader, you know, it doesn't have to be the top, most highest quality Darth Vader costume, but you know, some of the ones that cost 100 or 200 bucks, you, you're gonna really look like Darth Vader with this helmet. Um, those cheap masks that they give with the costumes or the cheaper ones you can buy separately, don't even, don't even go that route. But the thing is, is, you gotta understand that it's hard to breathe in these things and it gets very hot in this helmet the eyes can fog up and so uh, you just got to take breaks and really you know make sure you get ventilation and air um, so as, when it comes to the wear of it, it feels exactly the same as the old one uh, same type setup with the batteries and how to put it on but I think the thing that really stands out about this helmet is one the red tinted eyes really really makes a difference when you put it on I think that's a really cool feature and aspect of it and then the, the dark charcoal gray mixed with the black just really sets the mask off itself. I think that's a really cool, good look uh, that they did with this helmet. Um, you can see in the inside, I mean, it pretty much has like the wires and stuff like that in there. Uh, you know, pretty much what you'll find um, in a uh, helmet of this, this price. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, these aren't real wires or anything, but I think the actual look makes it look really official and real. Um, this latch is actually a lot easier to connect than the old one was. 
Um, and this is just my brief reaction when I first, you know, tried it on. So, yeah, I think the quality of it looks pretty good. I mean, you know, it is plastic, so it's only going to get so good. I do see, you know, numerous scratches on it. Nothing deep, but with this kind of prop or this kind of mask, you know, there's always scratches already coming straight from the factory. Uh, it looks like there is a little section right here that's raised a little bit. You can actually see uh, through it. You know, you can actually see, I'm trying to get it on camera, that little angle right there where it's not fully connected and it's like that on both sides. I guess it's done on, on purpose. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get it in the camera, there we go. But it looks like it should lay flush, but maybe it's for a reason, I'm not really sure why. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't really see any any other defects or anything on here that would be of concern uh, with this mask. Uh, so yeah, I highly, highly recommend this thing, man. This is this is really really cool. Um, let's compare it to the uh, older helmet. <laughs> All right, so let's compare old versus new. So this is our new 2022 um, Dark Vader Black Series helmet, and here is the old. Um, now, <clears throat> I'm trying to see, make sure I just put this camera back some, okay? Um, so, first comparison you can definitely tell is the colors of these two helmets. Um, again, the older one is pretty much predominantly all black as compared to the new one being more of a dark charcoal gray colorish. Uh, mixed with black. Uh, both of the hoods are definitely uh, all black and of course the new one has the red tinted eyes, the old one has the uh, black uh, tinted eyes. Um, our first glance, I mean you can't notice a, you know major big differences but you know when you definitely look up close you can definitely see that there is uh, a lot of differences in between these besides just the actual uh, color. Um, so let's start off with the uh, actual vents. If you look closely uh, with these two helmets, the older one, it looks like has a, uh, the newer one looks like it definitely has a The new one definitely looks like it has a uh, larger uh, vented area under the nose. Um, when it comes to the vent under the chin, the older one definitely has a larger vent. Uh, the newer one has a very, very small vent. So that area is where the speaker is. The newer version has a smaller vented area where the, the speaker is compared to the older one. The older one has a larger uh, speaker area. I'm trying to compare the sounds to see if there's a real big difference. You really can't tell too much of a, of a difference between those two. Let me try one more time. Sounds almost exactly the same. I personally, at least on this side of the camera, I can't tell the difference between the uh, the breathing. Uh, but again, it looks like the area on the old one has a bigger area where the speaker is, but it almost looks like the newer one has, I don't know, it looks like it's just a different type of speaker in there. So. It doesn't look like that's a ventilation area, so really I guess that has nothing to do with air circulating or being in there. And of course the front part of the mask both have uh, vents that look pretty much the same size. So it doesn't look like it's gotten any better as far as more air being able to enter the helmet. Um, 
The eyes look a little bit more longer on the newer one than the old one. Uh, I'm not gonna say that they're larger, but they just look like they go a little bit longer width-wise when it comes to uh, to, to the uh, to the newer helmet. Um, the hood of the helmet looks very very similar. Um, this one looks trying to see on the old one. Yeah, they look they look very very similar as far as the hood is concerned. Um, trying to see if one looks bigger or longer than that. No, can't really tell too much of a difference there. The inside of the old one. Now let me just take these hoods off and see the major differences between the actual. Of course, it doesn't want to come off. It's super hard to get on when you try to get it on on there. But let's look at just the details between the two with both of the hoods off. Almost the exact same diagrams, the same designs, the same magnets. Uh, yeah, it looks almost identical to what the old one has. So really no major differences there. Even the plastic pieces, um, everything, the design, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, looking at the sides, um, same location pretty much for the button, for the breathing is the same. Um, even on the old one, I see that spacing here as well. So I guess that's pretty much standard on, on all of them. The back neck piece with the little spikes and the little button snappers, they all have the same design, nothing different there. The actual uh, spandex that goes around your head is pretty much the same, nothing's different there. Uh, the wiring, um, I don't see much difference there either. The foam is the same inside at the top of the head. Yeah, I, I really don't see too much of a difference anywhere else, guys. Um, yeah, and I'm looking pretty detailed as far as even the screws that are in here. I'm looking at the wiring design. I'm looking at everything. I don't see anything different in these masks other than the color scheme, the red tinted eyes. Um, little bit longer eyes uh, the vent beneath where the speaker is is a little bit different on the new one and uh, that's about it I don't I don't see a whole lot major differences with these helmets so um, if you have the old one I mean is it really worth buying this one it just depends on you know what you use it for again I actually use my old one for costumes so this is the one that gets wear like you can already see like the eyes are still foggy from probably you know last time I wore it they need to be cleaned um, so again I wear this one out like this is the one that I take out with me when I wherever I go so uh, yeah this is this is going to be the one that I'm still going to continue to use even though I would like to use use this one because I think it's really cool and it's, it's a good looking helmet um, I probably would just keep this one more so for a display uh, because there's just no need in, in wearing both out. So especially I'll keep this one clean and good looking as my older one already has like a bunch of scratches and stuff on it just from the wear and tear of wearing it as a costume. So yeah guys, so other than that, you know, I don't want to make this too long, but um, if you're really thinking about getting the new one, if you're a Star Wars Darth Vader fan, you're going to get the new one. I mean, it's just, you, you, you kind of got to have it in your collection. Because there's no, there's there's not another Black Series one like this one, so I definitely think it's cool and unique to have. Um, they're still available; they haven't sold out yet. I think they are about 130 bucks. Um, but again, once it does sell out, and once these things, uh, you know, become unavailable or they're sold out in stores for MSRP, I think these definitely will go up in value. Not a lot, and it will take time before it goes up. But just like some of the older Black Series uh, helmets that are no longer sold in stores, most of them have at least doubled their price or go for a little bit more. So I expect the same thing with uh, with, with this one. But yeah, it's, it's a cool helmet, man. I mean, it's a Darth Vader helmet. 
you can't go wrong with that. And if you don't own a Darth Vader helmet yet, and this is your first one, definitely think this is the one that you would want to start off with uh, as your first first. Helmet. See, this is what I don't understand about these helmets. The magnets, they're really, they're strong once it goes in, once it connects. But before that, these things gotta take forever to like snap on properly uh, for whatever reason on there. But once they get on, it's, you know, it's, it's on there. You're good to go. But yeah, man, this, this helmet is, is really, really dope. I love the color. That's really what's kind of got me amazed right now is just um, the coloring sequence that they did on this looks really, really good. So, uh, so yeah. But anyway, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next video. Peace.